Hi, my name is Adrian from Sound Zipper. Welcome to our YouTube series on the acoustic world. This is our very first episode. Thanks for joining us. And today we're going to talk about flush mounting speakers. So why would you want to flush mount speakers? Well, flush mounting speakers is actually something we do very often when we are building a control room in a recording studio or when we are building a cinema. It just increases the sound quality exponentially. So let me give you some insight tips on flush mounting today. So what are the common mistakes in flush mounting that we see most of the times? Firstly, people don't flush mount. They actually just build cabinets and they put their speakers inside. Contrary to what many would say, this is not exactly flush mounting. Secondly, they actually build walls, their baffle walls where they mount the speakers too light. It becomes, it's actually just way too light. So what happens is the wall rattles a lot when you're playing your speakers. This is not good for the sound. Thirdly, they don't consider isolation in the flush mounting construction. So today we're going to show you how SoundZipper does it. So there are three things to take in consideration when flush mounting. Mass, isolation, and flushness. So mass, I have behind me here a baffle wall framing constructed out of solid timber. This is the minimum needed for flush mounting. In many situations, if you can afford it, you will actually want it to be solid concrete. But in this situation, the construction we have is sufficient. So secondly, isolation. Here I have in my hand a 2 inch deflection spring that we use in our isolation of speakers. In a moment, you'll see how this is done. What we have here is actually a clamp system that SoundZipper uses in our flush mounting applications. It actually consists of two pieces of plywood mounted on four springs on the ceiling. This allows total independent motion as the speakers play. So as you can see, the clamp can actually move up and down. Now that we have isolated our speakers completely from the framework via our springs, we need to achieve the third criteria of flushness. To do this, we actually use a material called neoprene, which is a synthetic rubber that's actually quite stretchy. This goes between our speakers and our wall to prevent the transmission of vibrations from the speakers when they're playing towards the framework. That's it guys. So now you know the three steps to flush mount speakers. Mass, flushness, and isolation. If you have these three, you're set. Watch out for next video. In the meantime, for more acoustic tips and tricks, Follow us on Twitter at the link below.